Savage Halloween, Savage Halloween. We are savages for candy Halloween. Savages. Halloween savages, Halloween savages. savages. We want your candy and your money. So. <laughs> yes, just that, that's it. Not anything else. So, Savage Halloween. I don't know about you, Nikki, but this is my favorite game of the week. I was going to say year, but... Oh, yeah. When we were playing this, I, I was thinking I think this we, is in my top five for this year. Like, I, I think we definitely saved the best two for last this week. This is the best <laughs> for the year. No, but uh, seriously, now, uh, this is definitely in my top five. There's some other, like, triple A games that have come out, like, that I haven't played. I've heard good things about Detroit. Um, I haven't played Hades. I mean, there's a few games that have come out this Hades year. Hades and Detroit are, like... Chef's kiss. Oh, you have them? No, I don't, but oh. I've, I've seen them. Oh, okay. Especially Detroit. Yeah, well, I mean, AAA. If you can spend $300 million, usually... But it is isn't AAA. Decent. It's like... Yeah. Indie. No. Yeah, but anyways. Sp Savage Halloween. This really plays like G.I. Joe meets, like, the Halloween theme slash... Meets Contra. Yeah, like a lot of the... And the homage to other games... Hint, like, hint. uh, there's Battletoads. <clears throat> Battletoads, yeah. So, uh, for five bucks, you said five seventy four for this? No, uh, five sixty nine. Sixty nine. No, um. <laughs> but on sale right now, it's four fifty five. Honestly, this is, like, amazing deal. Even if there's, like, absolutely, once you be in the game, there's nothing else to do. Like, this is such a great price for like such a high quality game like I if you don't like any an NES graphics like I can totally see you not liking this game but it's just such a high likability like you know how Steam does very positive I get very positive to this game like honestly I don't usually give out a 9 but I'd say this is a 9 plus to me the graphics are NES. The music's really well done. Everything about this is so well done. Like, I would give this a nine as well. It's just, uh, I think, I think it might even be a nine point five because yeah, it's very it's, flawless. Yeah, like honestly, like it's a lot of fun. I was rushing through it. Like after you died in the game, it's not hard. Yeah, that's the downside of it. Like it isn't hard per se, but the it moment. Really yeah, Sorry. but they're like some anti. Uh, there's like some not anti quality of life things where, like for example, in co-op, um, you actually have to make sure you guys are joined at the hip. If yeah. somebody goes too far but from it's you, it's kind of like classic Mega Man, I, I think. Yeah, or like so when when one character is like on a ladder and then another guy falls through, th they basically become like the instant death platform. But again, you gotta remember, like this game is trying to, it's. It's got the Halloween check mark, and it's got like the classic NES flaws, and like a lot of. I don't think it was till like later NES, like gray period, right before the the system died, uh, that they. I wouldn't say they fixed it, but like the classic NES games, this was common. Like you guys have to bros have to stick together, otherwise one bro is gonna die. Yeah. Well. Okay. That that makes sense. I yeah. think it's. I think that's. It's the uh, then, It's intended. It's an old school. Yeah, and creation. even the, like the Battletoads homage, like, is nowhere near as hard as Battletoads or like even the even the Battletoads like, uh, uh, biking levels in the new game. Like there were parts right at the end. Like, I was even I was playing on the second hardest difficulty too. So. It's probably a joke if I went down to like the beginner's toad or whatever uh, difficulty. I didn't find this was hard. Like even for normal, like I found it was a little bit hard for normal, but mostly just the jumping. Uh, there's a harder difficulty where I assume it's like NES hard, but NES hard. <laughs> Yeah, hard is a common theme this week with Wanking Simulator, but um, honestly, yeah, uh, like I, I don't think any game's flawless, but like this is definitely the game. Like I would say, like it's definitely in my top three of this year. Like Streets of Rage Four, this I don't remember what the other game was, but uh, <laughs> it sounds bad. But yeah, like this game. 
considering what we've been through this year in 2020, like this. This is definitely good. our uh, big break. Honestly, like for four bucks, it's an amazing deal. I don't know if I can say anything else. I don't know if you have anything else. No, this game is really interesting. It's like you have like free characters to play as. You have like the uh, Jack Just, Lantern guy. And I love the the upgrades and like everything about this. The like, weapons are really cool. They're very yeah. inventive too. And the enemies are pretty decent. Like I wouldn't say they're super inventive, but they're well created. Yeah, and then you like just see well like designed. Santa Claus is in the middle of one. Yeah, of like it's just whoever did this. Sorry, I don't know the developer. I don't remember the developer, but you guys did an amazing job. Honestly, like this is up there with game of the year. I don't care about Red Dead. Not that I don't care about, but like it's a AAA game, and like didn't it technically come out last year anyways? Red Dead. So yeah, this and Streets of Rage Four, and I think there was one other. I'd say like we're totally spoiled this year with these. These, these are our indie triple A's. <laughs> which will be guaranteed to keep you at bay until 2024, which is when... Keep you savage. We, which is when we'd probably get the cure for Corona. Or another Michael Bay Transformers film. Out of nowhere. Keep, keep on... Keep it bay. <laughs> keep it at bay, baby. Keep it bay, keep it bay. Keep it bay, keep it bay.